Hey YouTube, this is CS3 Tutorials. Uh, welcome to my eighth tutorial of HTML programming and editing, of course. Uh, last time I showed you how to create a table, and this is what we did last time. We created a table with a one with a size one border, and we created two rows. Here's the first, and here and the end of it, and here's the second. And then we created our columns, which is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And uh, and today we're I'm going to show you how to increase the width of your uh, individual boxes where it says first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And I'm also going to show you how to change the background color of the table uh, columns or rows. So um, okay, let's get started with the day. Uh, let me just show you what this one looks like before we start, just to should give you an idea of what it looks like. Uh, we'll do tables. And always dot HTML, save, and then we'll view it in our browser. Uh, this is what it will look like, of course. And I'm going to show you how to increase each one of these uh, by width. And I'm also going to show you how to uh, colorize each of these little boxes for you guys. So, uh, for you guys here. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to close that. Out. I'm going to leave that there so I can sh so you can tell the difference. All right. To get started with the width, go to one of your columns, and always says column is to identify a column. It always has in the uh, brackets you always say see TD. So put a space in between the in one of the T in the TD and type width, then equals, and then uh, let's just do a width of 120. That's not large. I'm gonna do a width for each one. Width equals uh, 130, um, and let's go to the next one and width. I uh, forgot to put space. There we go. And then equals 140. Okay. Then let's do this one here. Let's do this one as well. And width equal whoop, equals uh, same thing. I'm going to start it out as what I did in the last one. So width uh, equals 130. And then width, width equals 140. Okay. And as always, when you type in a width uh, tag, now into uh, when you type in width, you do not have to put width right here. You don't have to put this. You don't have to put that in there. You just leave it as t as uh, the column and as the ending column tag. So this is your starter tag, and this is always going to be your ending tag for columns. And this is what the width will look like. So let's uh, we go view and preview in browser, or however you preview it, pre preview it in your browser using uh, whatever editing program you have so we'll go into my default and here we go we increased each of these columns and rows with I mean just the columns we increased each columns width by what we typed in so this one was 120 130 140 uh, 120 130 140 uh, you know as you you can tell it goes for uh, this it goes 120 120 130 130 140 140 so you always want to even it out so it's always even in the box otherwise you'll get a uh, <coughs> excuse me you always get a um, your know, boxes will look all messed up and you don't want that you want to keep your boxes nice and uh, neat for your website so it'll be nice to look at and all that and all that so okay now we'll go to the color here so go into your first table tag where you type in table and in next to border and after the one, hit a space and put in BG color. Then you put equals. And as always, you always put in when you put a color, you always put your uh, <clears throat> you always put uh, quotations with the color. So I'm gonna choose this E E A D B eight. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you what that one is because I want you guys to be surprised. Uh, but if you if you wanted to know what it is, um, I'll probably post a link in the description or down to the bottom of the video somewhere uh, where you can find out where HTML color codes are located at so this will be in the table border this will be the uh, table color and we'll do I'm gonna go down to this one uh, whoop and the second one forgot to do that hold on there we go forgot to do that guys my bad um, and in this one, I'm gonna go to the and then put it. When you do it to a column, put space after your width number and then put in uh, BG color equals whoop, equals equals. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna do F F F F zero zero and end quotations. 
code. So remember, when you put in color codes, you always put quotations around it so it doesn't mess it up. Uh, and I'm going to do another one here. Um, let's see which one. I'll do the same one to this one. I'll do the fifth. Since it's uh, lined up with the second one. So space, BG color, equals quotations. Uh, same, I'm going to do same color, FFF, zero, zero, quotations. Okay, now we have added color to our to two columns in our uh, table. And uh, you can add color to any of the columns you want to, but let's just preview and browser. So view, preview and browser, default. And look at that. So basically what we did here is when we typed it in next to table, when we type in uh, table border equals one space BG color, and then we typed in the color code, it gave you the ta gave the table a whole color. It colored the entire table and the border, as you can see. But when we typed in uh, BG color for uh, a column, it just gave the column a uh, background color, a uh, background color for it. So, but the table kept its color, and the columns itself gave them a different color. So it goes and uh, it goes uh, pink, yellow, pink, pink, yellow, pink. So that's basically how you do colors and how you uh, increase the size of your borders. So, alright guys, this is my, my eighth tutorial. Check out my ninth tutorial, which I will be doing probably more advanced stuff. I'm probably, this is probably going to be the last stuff that's beginners. I'm going to be starting to get into advanced for forums and scripting. So, but uh, I'll probably do forums in the next video. So, forums, forums, excuse me, in the next video. And uh, as always, follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. And I'll also put it to the bottom, probably. And also, um... Uh, subscribe and rate to my videos as always guys um, I need to hit 50 I'm at 49 right now as, I, as I've seen so hopefully you guys get me there and uh, also this is my YouTube right here right here this is my YouTube of course you can tell CS3 tutorials um, I'm getting, getting to that partnership guys so help me get there that way I can bring you guys more videos more videos and um, I'll be able to uh, help you guys out with HTML and after I'm done with HTML, I'm going to do PHP programming and editing. So that'll be fun as well. So, all right, guys. So, write, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.